Uh, very excited. Um, very happy about it. I'm looking forward to it. What's, uh, when you talked about potentially getting traded, was was it always here, or were you just thinking somewhere else, or? Uh, I always wanted it to be here. Um, me and Kyla talked about it back in January, February, and for it to actually happen is, is pretty crazy. Greg Moore, Arizona Republic. Nice to meet you and welcome yes, to town. Thank you. What do we call you? We call you Marquise? We call you Hollywood? <laughs> whatever you guys comfortable with. I mean, you know, you call me Hollywood, you can call me Marquise, whatever you guys want. Is Hollywood because you're a small town guy or is Hollywood because you're a flashy dude? Uh, it's just symbol for my hometown. I mean, uh, when I first got to Baltimore, I had to, you know, tell people that because uh, it's just like I'm, I'm carrying the name for my city, and you know, I'm gonna continue to do so. What do you like about the fit here, Marquise? Um, I just love the offense. Um, you know, reuniting with Kyler, uh, Cliff. I mean, I played against him, and he also recruited me, so uh, I'm excited. Sort of what the events were like yesterday, which led to you making an appearance at the draft party. Yeah, uh, Mr. Bill came down, got me from Las Vegas. I was doing the appearance out there. Uh, you know, they told me, you know, keep it quiet. Uh, got dressed up, met him at the airport, and then I was here for the uh, draft fest. How did you keep it a, key, a secret from Kyler? I mean, you guys were training together, according to Steve Kahn. Yeah, I mean. He, he he knew it possibly could happen, but he didn't know it actually did happen. So he was checking in, trying to trying to get the scoop, but you know we just had to. Oh, well, I don't know, Kyler. Like I'm I'm trying to find out. <laughs> you guys are tight though. You could have let the secret go. <laughs> I could I could have, but you know I kind of wanted it to be a surprise for him as well. When you uh, when you talk about you know guys that are able to play receivers are able to play with their quarterbacks, it's happened now a couple of times. What do you think that means for chemistry or, or, or for a pro team when you can get that, that pairing back from whatever you guys had in college? Uh, definitely. I mean, in college, you go through more with your quarterback than in the NFL. So me and Kyler, you know, we got in together. Neither one of us started. So we worked together on the B squad, beating the starting defense at Oklahoma to all the way to both of us playing. And, and we've been doing it together the whole time we were there, so I'm excited. You mentioned talking with him for the last few months about the possibility of this happening. What, what's been your reaction? I'm sure you've seen all the Tyler drama and all the talk in the last few months. Fast few months. What's been your reaction to that? Uh, you know, I've just been watching like everybody else, to be honest. Like uh, when I requested a trade, you know, that was before everything started happening. So when I started seeing all that happen, you know, I just called him, make sure. I'm like, yo, what's going on? But, <laughs> I, you know, I'm pretty sure, you know, he loves it here. And I know they love him, so they'll figure it out. When you look back at playing with him in college and playing with Lamar, do they have similar skill sets? Oh, definitely. They're both passionate about the game. You know, that's what got me and Lamar so close. Uh, they're, they're passionate. They want to win. And, you know, but they're each one of a kind. There's nobody like uh, Lamar Jackson, and there's nobody like Kyler Murray. At what point did you start to hear from the Ravens that this might be possible, this trade might be possible? Uh, like last week. Uh, for the longest, I didn't think it was possible. Uh, but last week, um, I knew it was a possibility. I mean, it was other teams involved. So, you know, I'm very grateful for the organization for, you know, uh, moving up and coming to get me. So you're, you're working with Kyler in Dallas while all this is happening? Yeah. Was that weird for you, like, to know, like, all oh, this is going on? Like, you might be teammates? And I'm just trying to make it, you know, I put myself in manifestation, put myself in a position, like, yeah, we're going to be teammates, so we might as well start training. And, you know, it, it happened. So you're saying you did this? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't do it. God did it. <laughs> How tough was it was to leave one friend and join another friend? I was very tough. Um, that was one of the, the toughest things was leaving Lamar. I mean, but I, I talked to him, you know, he, he understood, and, you know, we still cool at the end of the day. I was watching some highlights earlier. You were wide open, right, like behind the defense and making catches and tapping your toes and standing. But I want to know, how did you get so open? Was that scheme, like was the defense sucked up and you ran by him, or was that technical proficiency? What did you do differently to get open? Uh, a lot of times it's, it's, it's different scenarios. 
Um, you know, I've been a student of the game for a while, and a lot of times it just be, if I know and my quarterback knows what the defense is in, then it's my job to get open. So a lot of times, yeah, I, I'm pretty fast. I can get behind the defense, and that's, that's what I'm good at. Do you know about DeAndre Hopkins at all? Yes. You already have a relationship with him? Yes, I spoke with him. What's, uh, how do you see yourself being a complimentary receiver to him, and what do you think it's going to be like to play with him? I'm very excited um, because, you know, I get to learn from him. Um, and, you know, he's DeAndre Hopkins. He's going to command that attention. And, you know, I've been in the offense where I've been getting all the attention. I've been getting the cloud coverages. So I'm excited, you know, get some one-on-one -on -one matchups and, you know, spread the field out. You mentioned that with Kyler that they'll figure it out. You must be seeing what's going on with wide receivers around the league. Are you hopeful they'll figure it out with you too? You're both kind of in the same situation. Uh, me, it's never really about the, about the money right now. Like, I'm really just looking to come in and help right now win the Super Bowl. That's my main focus. Like, I haven't really even been focusing on, like, a new contract right now. Steve Kahn said yesterday that he was trying to work it so he could draft you back in 2019 and put you with Kyler. Did you know that at the time? Is that news to you that they were trying to get you as far back as 2019? Yeah, I know. Uh, Kyler, once Kyler got drafted, you know, we, you know, a whole Oklahoma, we all in the draft room. Kyler comes back. I'm like, yo, tell him Trey back, come get me. And he was like, all right, let's see what the Ravens do. And the Ravens end up picking me. So <laughs> it was like, yeah, okay. Like, but I was, I was very excited. You know, I was blessed for the opportunity and for it to all come back uh, full circle. It's, it's pretty good. What do you think you would have went had you not had the foot injury that year? I mean, that's the only reason I think a lot of people yeah. keep up. I thought I was going to, if I didn't get the foot injury, I thought I was going to go top 15, top 12 to the Packers. Kyler evolved as a quarterback since you played with him back in college to where he is last week. Yeah, um, watching him, he, he evolved a lot. I, he still he still does the same things, but he always been doing a good job of just um, doing what he has to do to win. You know, no game is always the same with him. He can win it, you know, running it. He can win it, passing it, improvising. And, you know, he does a good job of protecting himself. So that's what I admire about him. How similar is this offense to the one you ran at OU? Uh, watching it and, and, you know, hearing some of the plays and some of the formation is pretty similar. Aside from just excited to be with Kyler, you talked about the Andre, but just all the <coughs> offensive weapons mm -hmm. that are here, are you pretty excited and amazed at what you think you guys can accomplish together? Oh, definitely. I'm even excited, you know, because, you know, James Conner was at the Steelers. So for him to be out here, you know, having that run game, you know, Rondell Moore, uh, DeAndre Hopkins, A.J. Green, you know, I don't watch them for years. So I'm pretty sure, you know, we, we put it together, you know, we could be, you know, real potent. Have you spoken with Kyler since the trade happened? And if so, what was that like? Oh, it was good. I mean, you know, we've, we've all been excited. You know, he knows I'm out here ripping and running. So he just let me handle what I got to handle. Tell you he knew you were gonna get traded, like it was all him. <laughs> <laughs> no, he definitely, uh, he definitely, like, I did this. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> Can you take me back to Hollywood? Like, when did you kind of first start to know, like, I'm kind of good at this and I kind of like doing it? This, this might be my future. Oh, uh, definitely. I, and Pop Warner. Pop Warner is big in South Florida. You know, I've played against Lamar Jackson since we were eight years old. And, you know, guys, like, we got a lot of guys, Jerry, Judy, just a lot of guys growing up. And I've always been, you know, amongst one of the better players. But, you know, my high school route was different. And when I went to College of the Canyons in California, that was my first time ever leaving the state of Florida, ever been on a plane. So when I went out there, and, you know, did my year out there, and, and God blessed me, start getting scholarships, you know, I knew that, you know, it was destined for me to, you know, keep it going. Aside from guys you played with, were there guys that you watched growing up that you really looked at and tried to, said I could try to model your game after? Definitely. Um, I was a big college football fan, so like I said, I, I watched Larry Fitzgerald when he was at Pittsburgh. I watched uh, Randy Moss a lot. Um, Reggie Bush was my favorite player. That's why, you know, I wore number five at Oklahoma. So, yeah, I watched a lot of guys growing up. You were asked this kind of earlier, but the value of receivers to, in today's NFL is just enormous. And to be one of those top guys in your prime, what, what do you guys plan on doing with the league? I mean, it sounds like 
you're the, the wide receiver is the new thing, and mm -hmm. you're all going to get paid, and you're all going to be the top bill. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's just the business. I mean, however the market goes, it's however the market goes. But you know, my that's my agent job, not my job. Would you say this is a dream come true for you personally? And what are your expectations uh, for this team, and where you, how far you guys can take this moving forward? You repeat that. Would you say this is a dream come true for you, and what are your expectations for this team moving forward for next season and beyond? Oh, uh, I mean, yes, yeah, definitely. I mean. Dream is to play in the NFL, period. But I'm definitely blessed to have this opportunity. And I think, you know, we got to get on the same page, get to work, and we try and win Super Bowls. That's the, that's the main goal. So many guys, how do you share the ball? I mean, what's ideal targets for you realistically? Um, like in college, you know, I had guys around me, CeeDee Lamb. I don't play with Mark Andrews. It's not about the targets. It's about, you know, what type of targets. You know, what, is God, what are guys good at? You know, put everybody in a position to do what they what they do good, and it's up to you to make the most out your opportunity. How much do you think you and Kyler talked about playing together in the NFL? It was something you guys started talking about in 17 when you got to Oklahoma. Yeah, uh, once I, after our last year when we was going through the process, and you know, I got my foot injury, and I I knew I probably would slip in the draft. It was like, yo, we probably can get to play with each other, <laughs> <laughs> and you know, we tried to make it work. You hoping to learn? from a guy like DeAndre or A.J. Green? Uh, everything I possibly can. Uh, I'm a student of the game. I study guys. I even told DeAndre uh, earlier, you know, I've been watching his film. Watch every guy's film around the league. So whatever they can have to, to show me, you know, I'm willing to listen. Your former GM was telling reporters that you're one of the hardest workers he's seen. And can you talk about your work ethic? Yeah, um, yeah, that's all I know. I mean, it's my lifestyle is football, you know, you know, a lot of people like, you know, football is me. So that's what I do. Um, that's what I love to do, and I take pride in it. Last one for me, man. Can you, you and Kyler were on a scout team. <laughs> what was that like, uh, you know, being in the locker room, knowing that you, you feel like you could be out there, but you know you got to bide your time? What, what were those moments like for you? What were the conversations like? Oh. We killed it. We killed it every day. Like, and we used to talk trash to Baker, to all of them. Like, if we was to play a game versus y'all, we would win. Like, we it, we used to go at it, and we made our our point every day it was to kill it, kill it every day. What do you think is gonna happen to Baker and Lamar contract wise, team wise? Uh, I'm not sure, but um, I know that they're both talented. I mean, Lamar is one of a kind. I'm pretty sure they sh they they should figure it out. <laughs> and Baker, you know, I'm I'm. I got to see him get his statue, and I was so happy for him uh, last week. So I'm excited to see where he goes as well.